Hello, my friends. Wayne Sherry here. Going to do another quick review of this um, kind of a video product that's making a whole lot of claims that I really don't think you should put a lot of credence in. It doesn't mean it's not a good product. It's being promoted as a replacement for Camtasia. And I got to tell you right at the beginning of my review that it, it is not. All right. And of course, I'm recording this with Camtasia. But it does have a place, so you want to listen in because it does have a place for many people, particularly those that haven't done any video creation at all. And the price of Camtasia, which for most of you are PC users, only 10% of the world is a, is a Mac user. And the PC version of Camtasia costs $300, so it's, it's not a cheap program to jump into, nor are any of the other quality of video creators. But at the same time, there are free screen capture programs that do an average job of making a, um, a video that's like something you might want to send to a friend, but isn't something you want to use to uh, frame your business around because they aren't very good. So if you want to be able to make quality videos and do it at less than $300, you probably want to continue watching this review so you know exactly what you're getting. So you decide whether you get this or maybe you wait until you have the $300 uh, to buy Camtasia or you find somebody offering a special on Camtasia, which does happen. I've seen it as low as $197. Uh, so the, the possibilities do exist. But let's take a look now. I'm going to switch on over to uh, the the Video Motion Pro, which I purchased uh, this morning. That's how I know <laughs> this isn't a Camtasia uh, replacement. All right, let me uh, switch this over now. So not surprisingly, the video editor looks very much like other video editors, and in particular, it looks a lot like Camtasia. It doesn't doesn't function anywhere near as smoothly as Camtasia. I'll give you, uh, but I'll give you some examples where it does actually do very well. Okay, now first, they talk about these uh, lower third animations and outer animations, and uh, and they're pretty. And let's go ahead and open them up right now. You can see them here. The problem I have with these is, though they're nice, and they're fairly easy to use. I mean, literally, you just upload your own logo in there, and it replaces it. And you type your text, and it's, and it's done, and you add it uh, to your video. Uh, that's nice and simple. The problem is, is Let's just say you, you get a thousand marketers using this. Well, they're all going to be making the exact same things. There, there's no way for me to, to make any of these things unique. And I can make all of my animations totally unique in Camtasia. You cannot do that here. Okay. So Camtasia doesn't have this vast library of um, lower thirds, but you can certainly get them if you want them. Uh, but even if it did have a library, I'd be able to uh, completely customize it, and I can't do that here, okay? So these are very nice, but uh, they will get very old for you, and you would want to customize them eventually if you're making, if you're a real video maker, and uh, you won't be able to do that here. For for getting, getting started in video, this is great, and it will make you look professional, but uh, you, you will run out of, uh, you know, uses for them. Uh, text. In some ways, the text may actually be simpler than Camtasia, but it's also um, it's a bit limited. So it's it's good that it's there because you need that ability to add text. So it gives you that professional look right out the block. But Camtasia does it better, okay, by far. Green screen. This might be the one thing that does better. Let me pull up a uh, a, a media piece so I can show you. So here's a green screen I, I made in, in my video uh, studio. And I, I do find that Video Motion Pro makes makes it, it's actually a little bit better at the green screen thing than, than Camtasia, though Camtasia is pretty good at it. And so this is the, uh, we're going to be looking at green, obviously, and removing it. Uh, let's reset the color. So 
it's offering me a color. What I did was I clicked it so it would select the right color. And and now what I want to do is um, apply it, right? So right off the bat, that didn't work. <laughs> so let's go ahead and reduce the tolerances, right? And see what we get back. Now, there we go. There it is. We can soften it a bit. That's just the edges is what that really is doing. Um, but we want to get, you see that hue, we want to get rid of that without uh, making me disappear. And, and that's the part that this actually seems to do better, I found, in a couple of tests I've already done. Uh, it, the, the thing I have to do is keep clicking, though, to, to make it uh, put the adjustment in. I don't, that's kind of a pain. But you can see I practically eliminated that green hue, and that's a problem in many of the green screen software is trying to get rid of that, uh, that hue because the reason it's like that is because I didn't have good lighting behind me. So it, uh, it caused reflections off of the green screen that caused that hue to occur. And, uh, and most of you, if you're doing green screen, you probably don't have a great studio to do it. So you probably deal with lighting issues like that uh, when you do it. And, and the Video Motion Pro actually handles that pretty darn good. But that's probably the single thing that I could say I really liked about it compared to Camtasia uh, that, I, that I use, okay? Uh, the editing functions, uh, the editing on the timeline is much more difficult. It's nowhere near as, uh, as developed as Camtasia. Uh, of course, I can drop multiple tracks in here and separate audio tracks and stuff like that and line them up. Um, but the... Um, the zoom functions don't work anywhere near as smoothly. Um, in fact, I, I far prefer the Camtasia over the Video Motion Pro. But again, if you're if you if you're not in a budget for that for Camtasia, but you need to get some professional-looking videos made on, that are desktop or be able to edit, like I just showed you here, I, I made a video on a green screen and wanted to uh, clean it up, well, it, it does that well. So for the price that this thing is launching at, uh, I highly recommend you go ahead and get Video Motion Pro. Um, if you have the budget, though, for Camtasia versus this, uh, I would hands down, hands down be getting Camtasia, okay? Hands down. So since this is being done during the launch, let's take a look at the options that you should be getting. Honestly, for the price, let's find it. It, it makes absolutely no sense to get the uh, $47 version. That, that's silly. In fact, at these prices right now, there's no reason for you not to get the $67 version right now, okay? There's no reason for you not to do that. Why they impose limitations on on doing things for clients with their video. Um, you, you don't have any limitations on doing client videos with Camtasia. Um, and you, you see they're proposing that they're going to raise the prices. Uh, actually, 239 is almost the price of Camtasia. And this isn't anywhere near the quality of Camtasia. In fact, the, it didn't even have an export, at least for the video I had in, it didn't have an export of uh, for, for 720p. Um, so I find that a limitation. So when you pro when you produce a video, right, you want to be able to r render it at different sizes. Excuse me, it had 720. It's the size above it, which I forget the exact number. It's 9, 980, is that it? It's the biggest size. 1280 by 720 is standard HD. But there's, a, there's one size bigger, which I forgot because it's not on my screen right now, which I usually make my videos at, uh, but I can't do it inside of this, this program. So that's another limitation, okay? You, you, cannot, you cannot do that here. All right, so still it has a purpose, right? If you can't afford a $300 price tag and you're buying this during the launch, then you're getting a good deal to get professional video uh, done for you, or so you can make a professional screen capture pretty decently. You're not going to match somebody on Camtasia. That isn't going to happen. Uh, but you will create uh, pretty, pretty good, pretty darn good videos uh, using this. Now, of course, 
they're going to be upgrading in the future, and, and I'm sure they know their shortfalls. Um, I'm I'm sorry that it's being advertised as a as a Camtasia Crusher because it is not a Camtasia Crusher, but it is something that will get you into a more professional info product creator trainer than by not having uh, this, okay? And if you can't afford the $300 price tag on the current Camtasia versions, then this is definitely something you want to look at, all right? I would definitely be getting the premium uh, license. Uh, I don't see any point at all to the starter license. The agency license, I don't know why they call it that. Um, the Only the only the premium license makes sense to me. Okay, that's it. Thanks.